So when uh, once after you create your server instance, AWS will be giving you a pair of keys. So namely this uh, public key and the private key. So with this uh, uh, from your console, like that is from your terminal, you can access or uh, you know you, you can access the server with this uh, with a pair of keys. So this IAM manages the user access and also the encryption keys which are sent or you know which are assigned to them. And the next one is Cognito. So coming to Cognito, what uh, like uh, you know we all know this Cognito. So what actually is this Cognito? So this Cognito, uh, in generally, Cognito is something which doesn't store the data. Like uh, uh, we open this uh, incognito, uh, you know, uh, which doesn't store the data and then we browse through the uh, browser. So here what we do is it, uh, the user identity and the app data synchronization part are all done with this Cognito. Uh, next comes the secrets manager. So coming to the secrets manager, it easily rotate, manage, and retrieve secrets through their lifecycle. So uh, what uh, it rotates and manages all the secrets through uh, with the with their lifecycle. Coming to this guard duty. So coming to this guard duty, it is uh, you know it is an intelligent threat detection. To protect your AWS account and workloads, so it's something like uh, which we use as a regular antiviruses for our systems or you know laptops. So this uh, performs the same, uh, you know, this performs the similar tasks uh, with this uh, to this, you know, antiviruses. So it is an intelligent threat detection to protect your AWS account and workloads. And coming to the Amazon uh, Maze. Amazon may classifies and secures your business, uh, you know, business critical contents. The next one is AWS organizations. So here, all uh, you know, here the policy based management from multiple AWS accounts. So this uh, in this organizations, they have this uh, public based, uh, you know, management for multiple AWS accounts. And the next one is Amazon Single Sign On. So Amazon Single Sign On access to the AWS accounts and business applications. So it's something like uh, you can just relate it to your uh, you know credential that is your ID and password. So once after you log in, you will be uh, or uh, you can actually. Uh, 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 you know, you can access uh, services provided with by the Amazon. And the next uh, next one is certificate manager. So this, you know, it, it, uh, the provisioning, manage, and the deploying of all this SSL or uh, TLS certificates. Coming to this SSL certification. So if uh, in initially you will be developing your website, right? So initially, like uh, in the beta version, or your uh, you know under this testing, what you'll do is you'll be checking and running your uh, websites. Right. So there you can see only this HTTP, not HTTPS. So once after you are done with your SSL certification, and uh, you have to upload this to the you know domain uh, site domain thing. And then only it will be, uh, uh, you know, converting into HTTP. That is a secure connection. Coming to cloud HSM. So, you know, HSM is nothing but a hardware server, a hardware security modules. So, it is managed hardware security modules in the cloud. Coming through directory services. So coming to this directory service, it hosts and manages the active directories. So what are uh, like uh, you know the active uh, directories are there like in general, uh, like uh, 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 you know if you consider uh, any particular point of time, there are uh, there will be many active directories. Right? So this directory service hosts and manages the active directory. And coming to this WAF and shields. 
So this protects against DDoS attacks and malicious web traffic. So you know it, it controls or deals with uh, this uh, you know issues or uh, uh, something some sort of viruses from the internet. And the last one is artifact. Coming to this artifact, artifact it is a AWS compliance report and agreement. So yeah, that's. Uh, what uh, the, uh, like uh, all these terms under the security, identity, and compliance. And I think this one thing we left off. Yes, that's it. So, yeah. So when we go with this IAM, so it uh, you know it manages the user activities and also there's a encrypted piece, right? So here my IAM user sign-in link is this HTTPS two double nine seven zero five six five two three one dot sign in dot AWS dot Amazon dot com slash cancel. So you know you can actually uh, it will it will show you uh, all the resources uh, related. So how many users are using this and groups and the customer manage policies and the rules and also this uh, identity providers. So here in the security status, you you know you can just simply select the options which you want. So you have this delete your root account uh, root access key and activate MFA on your root account. Create individual IAM user. Use groups to assign permissions and apply an IAM password policy. So here you have all these things like uh, users, groups, roles, identity providers, and the customer manage all this. So we'll be having, uh, you know, like uh, uh, specific details about this here. So you have your groups, users, roles, and the policies, uh, and the identity providers here. So based on this thing, you will be uh, like this one. You have roles. I'm just going to the roles. So in the previous classes, we have just, uh, you know, we have, uh, I think we have uh, created this bot, uh, one or two bots, right? So the, all these roles are like uh, whatever be the application or whatever be the actions or the tasks, all the roles, like uh, all the roles which you create, that, uh, that is uh, this flags. Uh, that is this, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? Tasks, yeah. So all these tasks and roles will be managed, and when you go, when you click on these roles, it will be showing you. Role name, description, and also these trusted entities. So here uh, it will be, it will give you this what are these IAM roles, and what are all uh, you know some additional resources required. So coming to this Cognito, Cognito offers user pools, uh, user pools and identity pools. So user pools are user directories that provide sign up. So that provides sign up and sign in option for their app, uh, app users. So this identity pools provide this AWS credentials 
to grant your uh, user access to other AWS services. So here we have your manage user pools and also this uh, manage identity pools. So here you can uh, add, uh, you know, that uh, you can just sign up and sign in thing. And you also have your grant your user access to AWS services. So when you click on this manage user pool. So yeah, uh, as of now I don't have any user pools. So it's not showing any. So if you have any user pools, not then it will definitely show your user pools uh, belonging to you. And coming uh, like uh, going with this manage identity pools. So yeah, yeah, like uh, uh, because we are not having any application running in this, uh, you know, live uh, running live in this AWS. It is not showing any identity pool. So if you want any identity pool, then just go ahead and create your own identity pool by just clicking on this create new identity pool. And we have this uh, secrets manager and guard duty next. So coming to the secrets manager, we have already seen like uh, this easily rotates, manage, and or retrieve this uh, secrets throughout uh, their life cycle. So this helps you protect access to your applications, uh, applications, services, and IT resources. You can easily rotate uh, and retrieve data, uh, database credentials, API keys, and also, and uh, you know, like a database credentials, API keys, and.